Hi everyone, my name is Yeray Mera and I'm a Psychology PhD student at the University of the Basque Country. And today I'm going to be presenting a poster titled When is more beneficial for learning to commit an error? Pre-testing versus post-testing. So, a little bit of context, traditionally producing errors during learning has been considered detrimental to subsequent correct recall. However, a growing body of evidence has shown the opposite pattern, in which committing errors during learning, as long as corrective feedback is given, benefits memory retrieval, compared with errorless learning methods in which you simply study the correct answer from the outset. In addition, testing during learning has shown to be beneficial, even when it carries committing errors, and this has been studied in different ways. First, the retrieval practice or testing effect defends that just trying to retrieve information from memory enhance later query recall, for example, introducing practice tests, compared to simply rereading. And also there is the pre-testing effect, where attempting to guess unknown information, even when many errors have been committed, is also more beneficial than just simply rereading. So for this experiment, we wanted to explore the benefits of testing before or after the exposure to the material. Thus, retrieval practice versus pre-testing, or both before and after the exposure, a read-test-read condition, and to investigate the error correction mechanisms of these conditions. So we had four groups of participants studying semantically related word pairs. First, the pre-testing group completed an initial cue recall test where they tried to guess the target to some given cues then were given corrective feedback and then had two consecutive study sessions. The post-testing group had two consecutive study sessions and then performed a cute recall test. The read-test-read group completed one study session before and after a cute recall test. And the last, the read-only group had three consecutive study sessions. And all the four groups completed the same final cute recall test after a five minutes distracting task. So our results showed that all conditions that included test during learning, post-test, pre-test and the read-test-read conditions performed significantly better compared to the group that simply restudied the information, the read-only group. In addition, we also computed an error correction index where we only looked at the corrected items from the initial to the final test, considering only errorful responses during learning. And we saw that the pretest group had a better error correction index than the post-test group. So we conclude that testing during learning produced better retention of correct information compared to simply restudying. And in addition, learning conditions that permit more error commission, as is the case of pretesting, benefits more from error correction mechanisms and learning. Thank you so much for listening.